Welcome to Social Media Communication, CCRI's COM1400. Hello class, I'm Professor Lydia Rogers. We have two blogs you'll be using this summer. One is the class discussion blog and the other is your own personal blog. The class discussion blog is found right here at COM1400 summer 17 dot edublogs.org and here it is here's the class discussion blog now this is where you'll be posting your comments on the reading we'll be doing each week so as we scroll down you can see on the left here's where i make my comments and then if you go all the way to the bottom you will see where you have a choice to leave a reply here is where you are going to leave a reply to the reading every week. That's blog number one. Blog number two, let's go back to the top. Blog number two is yours, and that's where you're going to post your homework each week. So once again, we scroll down just a little bit. Here are the class research blogs. And your whole class is listed here. So just find your name on the list and click on it. And then go to the top left, see where it sa says login, click on login. Now you should have already gotten an invitation from EduBlogs. If you did not, just send me an email. And what you do is you fill in here your CCRI email address. You're signed up with CCRI, so your CCRI email address, and then the password from your welcome letter. Now if you did not get a welcome email from EduBlogs, no problem. Go down here to where it says lost your password click there and just give yourself a new password. It's as easy as that. So put in your CCRI email, put in your password or say you need a new one and then click on login and that will bring you to your dashboard. And this is what your dashboard will look like. Now this story here in the middle will change all the time, but this is basically how your dashboard will look. Let's take a look at a few of the important parts. The most important is posts. This is where you'll be making your post every week. So if you go to all posts, that will show you all the posts that you have written. Or if it's time to add a new one, you click on add new. So let's start off with all posts. And you'll see right now, all of you have a first post that's called hello world. All of you have your hello world first post. And now you're going to write your very first post. So we're going to click on add new. And here we go. So you can see, add the new post. You put your title here, very straightforward, anything you want. Just give your post a title. And down here is where you do the typing. And the thing that's nice about EduBlogs, which is a WordPress blog, is you can use it very much like a Word document. So you type a sentence. And you say, good. And now you want to do some formatting, let's say. Well, you can bold, you can italics, you can even do some bullet lists if you want. If you want to put a link to an internet connection, you can do that here. Let's say you want to do that. You say, I want this to be connected to the internet. Then you could put in CCRI's address, for instance. Going to apply that and that's the way it works on your blog so just type it like you would with a normal word document so then you've typed your blog post you have a couple of options you can either save it as a draft and then come back to it later to polish it up or you can publish it immediately and this will put it right out on your website on your blog site and if you want to see what it looks like before you publish it, just click on preview and it'll say, if you were to publish now, this is what it looks like. So if you go ahead and publish your blog, your blog post, and it's just going to do that. And now we know it's published. And at this point you could update. You say, good, I want to look at it. So click on view post. And there you have it, your lovely post with your title, some text, some formatted, your bulleted list. It's all set to go and the world can now read it. Now, what if you're here and you want to go back to your dashboard? How do you do that? It's easy. Just go to the top 
where it says your blog and then click on dashboard. And then it brings you back to your dashboard. And if you're here and you go back up to your blog's name and you click on visit site, it brings you back to your website. You can keep going back and forth all day long between the dashboard and your site if you want. If you have any questions, just send me an email, lcrogers at ccri.edu. I look forward to reading your blog posts.